Leonard Men and Super Scared. This is a Z06 without the Z06 engine. This is a Z06. Hey folks, welcome back to Wallace Chevrolet. We got a really special car here for you today. This is a brand new 2017 all new Grand Sport Corvette. This is the newest uh, model to the Corvette lineup. This is a 3LZ interior package that so has a full loaded interior with the Alcantara suede packages everywhere, the flat bottom steering wheel. It's got the carbon fiber interior kit. It has a Grand Sport badge along the bottom of the stereo system to show you that you are buying a piece of GM heritage because the original Grand Sport was a 1963 Corvette Grand Sport that raced at Laguna Seca and all around the states. Um, now this car is basically as many options as you can put into a Grand Sport Corvette. So on the outside, you not only have the Grand Sport kit, you also have the Z07 package on the Grand Sport kit. The Grand Sport itself gives you the Z06 wider rear tail section to fit the 335 wide Michelin Pilot Sports under the back. It uses a, the two-stage Z06 rear spoiler option. You have lighter weight aluminum wheels. So one of the nicer things about the back of this car here, so you have the 335 wide Michelin Pilot Sport 2s, which are some of the grippiest tires known to mankind. Um, absolutely insane on the track. Now on the inside here is the real special thing on the Z07 package and what you're paying for on the Z07 basically. That's the over 14 inch carbon ceramic Brembo brake package. You have four piston rear Brembos here and you have six piston Brembos up front. At over 14 inches in diameter, these brake rotors are bigger than the original rims that came on a 1953 Corvette. On the inside here, you can see the nice Corvette sill plates down the side. You got your power seats in there, memory seats, heated, cooled seats. You got heads-up display. Behind the seats, there's a carbon fiber section, just mainly just to look cool, because that just looks awesome. Now, getting to the front of the car, you have the bigger vents, a lot like out of the Z06 Corvette, but with the Grand Sport insignia here instead of the Z06 badge. And then up front you have 285 wide tires, which are some of the biggest tires ever put on the front of the car. We even tilted the wheel on it so you can see how much tread you're getting on the front of this car. The tires on the front of this car are wider than the tires on the back of an SS Camaro. Now up front you have an LED signature on the headlamps. And everything on this car works. Everything's functional. All the vents you see on the front end are functional. Every air that comes in through here and here feed both brake ducts or it comes out through here, comes out through the hood to act like you're getting a splitter on the front of the car to give you more downforce when you're at higher speeds. So the heart of this car it's the same basic design as what's been powering a Corvette since 1955. Still an overhead valve, 16 valve V8. It's a 6.2 liter, 376 cubic inches for those who prefer cubic inches to liters of displacement. Puts out 460 horsepower and 460 foot pounds of torque with the dual modes exhaust on it. Um, this one is made it to the 8 speed Hydromatic 8L90 transmission. The transmission's smarter than you and you won't be able to shift as quickly or as well as the transmission is. So, as much fun as it may be in paddle shifter mode, if you want a better lap time when you take it to the track, if you put it in drive, apparently you'll probably run a better lap time than if you start flipping the paddles yourself. Now when you first start up the car, it's in tour mode, so the exhaust isn't as loud as it can be, because with the dual mode exhaust, the exhaust is linked to your traction control setup. So even though your exhaust system is tied to the performance traction management system, so when you set it up in tour, sport, and track, it will get progressively louder as you go along those modes. If you want to drive around in tour mode with your suspension a little bit softer and everything like that and the shift's not as firm and the steering a little bit softer and stuff like that, all you have to do is go into your settings here and then go into drive mode and then go to engine sound management and if you go all the way down to track, it'll pull on the track mode for the exhaust system and then this car sounds like you want it to. Let me show you, so on your molecular here, if you look right in the center of the dash there, you can see the little blue T sticking up there. That means I'm in tour mode right now, which is the softest setting for the suspension, the transmission shifts, and the steering, because it is electric power steering, so the steering wheel will change in weight sensitivity as you ramp up the performance modes. It goes to sport mode, and then you can hear the exhaust change just a slight bit there. It goes a little bit more rumbly, a little bit more open in the exhaust. And then we go over to track, opens the exhaust up one more step again. 
And if you are sitting here in track mode, what you can do is if you double tap the traction control button, it'll bring up the performance traction system into the car. You have the ability to set up the rest of the traction control system to how you are ready to drive on the track. So there's five different modes on your track setting. You have wet, of course, for when it's wet out of the track and you need to cut power a little bit just to keep from spinning out around the corners and it goes to dry mode. Next, um, after dry mode, it goes to Sport 1. Sport 1 still has the active handling system on, so your ABS is still functioning, your electronic diff is still functioning, and everything like that. All the, all the electronics in this car to help you go faster are still on, just at a little bit less of a state. If I go up to Sport 2, it takes basically everything off the car. The ABS is almost non-existent. Your electronic diff is sending mostly 50-50 power to the rear wheels. It's not necessarily gonna adjust power to each rear wheel in the cornering to give you the perfect amount of power to not spin out. And then there is full race mode, which is for everybody who's a track hero and really wants to drive this car like they could have driven a 1963 Grand Sport around the track. Track mode literally takes all your ABS off, takes all your traction control off, and it's you and this Corvette going around the track of just how fast you can handle it. And it is quite a handful of that. So if you're ready to put it in that, I congratulate you for just being that awesome. 64 foot-pounds of torque comes on in a big hurry in this car. But if you have any questions about this car, feel free to give me an email or call me here. Well, we, we're at Wallace Chevrolet. My name is Jesse Fitzpatrick. Other than that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Please subscribe for all the latest GM news. Um, subscribe to our channel. We'll be doing a couple more videos. We've got some Camaros and stuff coming in, so I'm going to shoot a couple of those for you. And thank you very much, and enjoy the, enjoy the rest of the summer.